Welcome to episode 7. This time I'm going to show my fights with the golem, starting with the first. This is the area in the jungle temple where the golem will spawn. The temple at the bottom, or shrine at the bottom, is, is how you trigger him. I've got my heart statues brought over from where I fought Plantera. I've got pits of honey on the left and right for additional health regen. Uh, a couple summon things from, I don't know what, there's those little discs, I forgot where I got those from. Um, so that's the, that item there, the lizard power cell is how you start it. And here he comes. And the golem I fought before many times, but not with this weapon. So these are the um, the vampire knives that you get from opening the crimson chest once you get the crimson key. So it was kind of an experiment to see how effective this would be. And in fact, his his body here in the first stage is already down to half health, and I barely even started the fight. Meanwhile, the healing effect from the vampire knives is meaning that when basically not losing any health. I'm just for safety moving back and forth to these statues to ensure I can't die. Um, but it's basically unnecessary. And once his body dies here, then the, the head separates and the body gets a new health bar. Um, but Otherwise, not very much changes. He's still punching if he can and firing lasers. And just as before, the vampire knives are extremely effective. So that's the end of that fight. Pretty anticlimactic. Um, and, uh, you know, in, in some sense, that's that's the end of my successful no-death run on, uh, on Expert in the sense that I've now killed all of the bosses that I know about, or bosses that I previously fought, so I, I know what kind of arena to build and so forth. He gave me a shiny stone, which I've never used, and a staff of earth, which is, I don't really like that, that weapon. Um, so there are still more bosses in the game, uh, and but I don't know how those bosses work, so... Uh, I'll, I'll have to see in subsequent episodes uh, how, how easily I'm able to defeat them. But at least for those that I knew how to prepare for, I successfully got from the beginning to the end on Expert, killed everything, uh, no deaths. And in fact, it turns out that the vampire knives are so effective that it's possible to just stand in one spot shooting straight up and kill the eye without taking any damage. <laughs> 